Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Sly. Now we're going to the Panda King, who's actually the one of the coolest bosses in the game. So uh, I'm gonna latch onto the firework, and it's gonna head me up there, take me up there. So uh, I think I'll see you after the cutscene. So see you guys later. And this is Flame Foo. That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework <coughs> technique, Flame Foo. Yeah, so uh, he basically has the coolest little phrases he says once you get up here. Fiery wheel. He says like all kinds of them, like moving, chop, and all kind of different stuff. It's pretty cool. He's actually a uh, pretty easy boss. Not too challenging, but fun too. And uh, the, I'm not gonna be uploading any more today. I'm gonna be uploading the rest tomorrow, and that's gonna be the end of slide tomorrow. I think it's gonna take about maybe five videos. Uh, I'm not. I think that's it. And I just realized that uh, in the uh, United Kingdom or any European country, Spyro 2 is called Gateway to Glimmer. Like I never even knew that. Moving shop. Well, that's a lot of fire. The Panda King is also one of my favorite villains in the game, and also he's my favorite in Sly 3 when he joins uh, the Cooper clan. Would some say that's the worst of the series, but I think it's probably the best because there's so many things you could do, such as like you could purchase upgrades, but you could do that in Sly 2. But it's just a lot more variety, and I think that's a really great thing about Sly 3. It's probably the most variety I've ever seen in a platformer or a platformer game. But I'll see you after the cutscene. That game is unparalleled. <laughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with Clockwork, so stay tuned.